you know, in the rest of the world, you say you're from Los Angeles, they go, ooh, Hollywood, and what they really mean is, you're superficial. But what they don't know is that we're deeply superficial. That means that we pay attention to surfaces. So if I put up, you know, four ugly guys, men with no lips or women with teeth, uh, I knew that Angelinos would notice. You have to be an optimist to run around the streets of America for 23 years in the middle of the night spattering yourself with glue, you know, doing portraits of ugly old white men. You don't do that just because you're crabby. <laughs> it's a way of communicating with regular people, you know, like on a basic street level. Obama has given me a little opportunity to come off it a little bit and go into other parts of my personality. One of them is definitely pussycats and puppy dogs. He would draw these creatures in between creating the nasty black and white portraits that became his gorilla posters. And I thought, well, let's use this time to finally make a book. I'm still street. I'm an urban cat, you know. Um, I grew up in Manhattan, what am I gonna do? Meow. <laughs> I found out when I did uh, Gandhi, the Dalai Lama, and Martin Luther King that people actually like positive images of wonderful people. Who knew? The Santa Monica Museum came along and said, well, if, you're, if you do the book, we'll uh, give you a book launch party. What a brilliant opportunity to launch the book and do a whole event based on her book and on Robbie's new direction, which was the animals. The gorilla poster guy does pussycat portraits. No way, what's up with that? You know, like, well, Pussies for peace. I, I like cats. I like dogs. I love animals. We could do Pussies for Peace. Um, I think that's as funny and as relevant as Read My Apocalypse. It's really liberating for me. You know, it's fun. And it's fantastic to draw them. The cat's out of the bag, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs>